welcome to another video I call Split Rock. This one is actually inspired by the real Split Rock Lighthouse, located on the northern shores of Lake Superior in Minnesota. The carving is similar, but not exact. I had to make some changes along the way. I did my best to honor the original structure though. I really enjoyed this carving, as it was my very first time working with cottonwood bark, which quickly climbed the ranks of one of my favorite woods to carve. One thing that I found interesting with cottonwood bark was its ability to hold detail despite how brittle it is. It's very forgiving but can be incredibly fussy at times too which made it a unique challenge. After roughing out the general shape of the lighthouse, I started to carve it back and give me room to shape and carve the rocks and cliff later. One thing that quickly became difficult that I wasn't anticipating was figuring out how to carve the unique structure of the lighthouse. It's not circular or round in shape, which would have made things much easier. The lighthouse is octagon shaped, so there are several flat sides that make up the structure. So my dilemma was, how do I carve this, making sure the angles are consistent and sections of wall are even throughout. There was also sections of ledges in the lighthouse that, while it made the structure unique, it added an extra element to the carving that I had to figure out. I did my best to precisely outline the lighthouse and I blocked out the ledge sections. I started with the very front flat section, then slowly moved my way around the lighthouse. Once I was satisfied with the shape of the walls, I did my best to replicate the same with the ledge sections. I know it's not perfect and areas could be improved, but in the moment I was happy with how it turned out.
separating and detailing these ledges was where things got interesting, especially due to them being perpendicular to the grain. Because of this, it made the ledges extremely fragile, and any kind of pressure in the wrong place would cause a section to chip off or break off. I had to be really careful here and carve slowly, which is why not a ton of it was captured because of how slow I was going. I was getting into my favorite part of the carving here though, which is the detailing. This is when everything starts coming together and it starts to turn into what I envisioned in my head. I came to a fork in the road though as I went. In the original lighthouse structure, it's built out of brick, so I had to decide if I wanted to replicate that look in the carving or not. One thing I've learned in my short carving journey is that sometimes too much detail can be a hindrance, and at times simplicity can go a long way. I felt carving in a brick texture would have been extremely difficult to make it look right given how incredibly tiny they would have been. And if a mistake was made or it didn't turn out right, it would have been extremely difficult to fix given how much work I just put into shaping the lighthouse. So I decided against the brick texture and kept it smooth. I decided to focus more of my time detailing the rocks and cliff later. Carving the rocks and bushes nestled at the top of the cliff was the cherry on top for me. I was very pleased with how it turned out and how it all came together. Here I just blocked everything out and where I planned to carve bushes, I then used my Dremel and carved a bush texture. One thing that makes cottonwood bark special is the uniqueness of the bark itself, so I wanted to make sure I kept plenty of that within the carving. Again, the carving isn't perfect, and there are always areas that can be improved. I learned a lot with this one though, and got nice and familiar with cottonwood bark, and I'm looking forward to my next carving with it. Thank you for watching, and I hope you tune in for my next one.